some breaking news in Scotland's next leader has just been announced. Yusuf Hamza has won the Scottish National Party's leadership contest and is set to become Scotland's first minister. Uh, the election race was triggered after Nicola Sturgeon abruptly resigned as the leader of the Scottish National Party in February. Live to Nadim Baba in Edinburgh. Nadim, so he was a clear favourite and he's now been declared the winner. Yusuf Hamza. That's right. You can uh, hear, uh, see Hamza Yusuf behind me. He's just said that he feels like the most, the luckiest man in the world now that he is going to lead the party that he joined 20 years ago. He's paid tribute to his uh, rivals in this uh, leadership campaign, which has been a bitter campaign and um, made clear divisions within the Scottish National Party since Nicola Sturgeon said she was going to step down. For example, he's the only uh, of the candidates who said that he would still try to challenge the UK government, which has been blocking the Scottish government's gender recognition reform bill, which basically makes it easier for transgender people to self-identify. He's seen as a continuity candidate. Some people thought that might actually stand against him because there has been uh, a push for, in some areas, more radical ideas. But in other areas, perhaps more socially conservative policies. Kate Forbes, uh, the other, uh, the second placed candidate, basically uh, made it clear that her own, her own beliefs uh, were against things like abortion and equal marriage. So for now, the challenge for him is going to be rallying the party behind him. Right. We're going to talk about the challenges in a bit. We're just going to listen in, Nadim, uh, to uh, Hamza Yusuf, uh, who's speaking right now. Hamza Yusuf, the new uh, Scottish National Party leader. ...to also find opportunity. My government will seize the economic and social opportunity that the journey to net zero will bring. A country as energy-rich as Scotland should not have people living in fuel poverty. The government I lead will renew and redouble our efforts to lift people out of poverty, to make work fair, to make our economy work for the people, and to ensure as we become a more prosperous country, we also become a fairer country too. And while I have had my fair share of battles with the UK government over the years, and there may well be some to come, I will work with them and other devolved nations constructively where I can in the best interests of our nation. I'm a proud Scot, and equally a proud European too. And Scotland is a European nation. We want to return to the European Union and play our part in building a continent that's based on human rights, on peace, prosperity, and social justice. To the people of Scotland, the SNP has earned your trust by governing well, by ensuring that your priorities are our priorities. As a party and as a government, we are at our best when we are radical and bold. And the challenges we face today, they require nothing less of us. That is what I promised the people of Scotland, if Parliament, of course, puts its trust in me tomorrow. Joining the SNP, for me, was an act of hope. But it All right, Hamza Yusuf giving his first speech after winning the Scottish National Party leadership contest. He is now set to become Scotland's first Prime Minister. Nadim Baba is there for us, listening in as well. So we have a new party leader. What will be his priorities? What are going to be the challenges? We are no longer Team Hamza. Well, they are several and they're very large challenges, obviously. The first, obviously, the raison d'etre of this party, the Scottish National Party, is delivering independence. Hamza Youssef uh, has made it clear that unlike Nicola Sturgeon, who said last year that she wanted to use any election in Scotland as a de facto referendum, on independence. He said that's not really a practical solution. He prefers a gradualist approach, building up more support, because opinion is very divided here in Scotland in 2014, of course. They voted no. Things are more finely balanced at the moment. He's also made it clear that his party stands for, uh, for Scotland being a European nation and returning to the European Union. That's a reminder that Scotland voted uh, as a whole against Brexit. So that's another big challenge, how to uh, move towards that goal in the coming years. He's talked about social justice. 
He is somebody who very much believes in the progressive policies uh, that Nicola Sturgeon brought forward uh, on things like climate, on things like um, um, equal marriage, on things as well like the um, gender uh, refor recognition reform bill. He is very much committed to that, but it's not clear whether that's going to go anywhere with the uh, UK government blocking it at the moment, as the UK is blocking the idea of a referendum. Let's not forget that last year the Supreme Court told Scotland it could not hold a referendum without the backing of the United Kingdom government. Nadim, thank you for that. Nadim Baba with the latest there from Edinburgh, where Humza Yusuf has just been elected the new leader of the Scottish National Party and will become Scotland's first minister.